Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose Hillen and you are watching my 100 days of making comics challenge here on YouTube. Today is day 49 and um, today I got three panel pencils, pencil panels, three pencil panels done. Um, I'm currently working on page four um, and I think I showed the rough um, non-photo blue lines that I worked on yesterday and I went ahead and pushed them through to the pencils today. Um, let me show you real quick. Ah! I dropped something. Um, so here they are. Um, as I'm working more on this comic, it feels like maybe the pacing is a little slow, which is fine because they're looking for um lost pet and um Minerva is starting to get frustrated if I don't know if you can see it on um this panel. She's got an annoyed face. I might write the word twitch here because her eye is twitching. Um more perspective. Here's the post-it with the vanishing point. Um, this was this is the riverfront here. Um, it's not 100%. Oh, look, there's my nose. It's not 100% accurate um, to the actual riverfront river front here in Portland, but um, yeah, I don't know. This 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 is what it looks like on my panel. I wanted to share. I know I um, talked about this post-it vanishing point that I like to do. Um, I also, when I'm making these panels, I use a T-square. This is the T-square. This washi tape is not part of the T-square. Um, a T-square is just, um, it's a ruler with a T attachment here so that you can, um, line it up against the edge of the paper. So I like to use it on this gigantic clipboard that I bought um, for drawing comics. Um, and I tape it here so it stays still. Um, and then I take one of these little rulers. I used to use a bigger one in um, art school when I was in high school. I think they called them pica rulers. Um, they're just gridded rulers and you can use the T-square to draw your panels with this mini ruler. It just slides over. And that's how I did these panels. Instead of flipping the board or moving the T-square to weird places. Um, you just use a ruler. You can always use a triangle. I think I've seen people use um, triangles, um, but this works just as well. So um, the reason why it's not, it's vertical. So this ruler is popping forward and, or the T-square is popping forward and this just wants to drop down. But it works great when it's actually on the desk. So yes, that is what I use the T-square for when creating um, my comic book panels. I think T-squares are so handy. Um, I think every comic book artist should have one. Um, especially if you're doing <clears throat> traditional comics. Because a straight line is essential when you're doing panels. Yeah, that's it. I'm not going to have anything big planned for tomorrow, um, day 50, I'm going to a book club uh, here in Portland, I think I mentioned yesterday at Books with Pictures, my first time going, if you're there, if you're from Portland and you wind up there for this book club, for this graphic novel, Laura Dean keeps breaking up with me, which was super fun to read, not fun, but, um, emotional <laughs> um, it's a young adult graphic novel um, about a lesbian 
girl whose girlfriend keeps breaking up with her. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun, does it? <laughs> but it's beautiful, and I really loved reading it. Um, the art is gorgeous, so I do suggest picking it up. I'll leave a link in the description below for anyone interested. Um, maybe I'll do a full review on it, because it's really good. Yeah, that's all. Uh, this video is 5.30 right now. 5 minutes and 30 seconds, so I'm going to cut it off here. I hope you guys are having a great day, wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I will see you tomorrow for day 50. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, bye!